This film is intended for eye surgeons for training and education purposes. Viewer discretion is strongly recommended. Hi, he is a 43-year-old male patient who is suffering from intermediate UIDs for quite some time and he is on and off treatment and he has developed this post-subcapsular cataract and he is posted for surgery. He also has a coexisting pterygium but the keratometry readings are not still affected much so we are presently deferred the pterygium surgery and dealing with the cataract now. Rexus is created. In these young patients, the nucleus is very soft and uh, in these 40-year-olds, the nucleus would be quite easy to manage. It's just soft and gummy and usually comes in one piece itself. Hydrodissection is performed followed by hydrodelineation and we have a nice golden ring. The nucleus thickness is very less, in fact it is extremely thin. So what I do is just using the second instrument, I just flip the nucleus and then catch hold of the equator and then emulsify or aspirate the entire nucleus in one go. The epinucleus is then aspirated out without much of a fuss. The capsule is flushed with the BSS just to clean it up and at this point I am seeing the presence of vitreous cells and inflammatory debris in the antivitreous in the background of the red glow. The cortex aspiration is done and once the posterior capsule is relatively clean, the presence of inflammatory debris behind the posterior capsule in the vitreous cavity is very much evident. It's important to counsel the patient preoperatively that the uveitis problem is going to be persisting for long and he needs to be continuously be monitored for inflammation and also get his intraocular pressures checked repeatedly. So cataract surgery is not the main disease, uveitis is and that disease is going to continue and it will be have remissions and exacerbations and uh, he needs to have a follow up for quite a long period of time. Once the OVD is removed, the side ports are hydrated. I'm giving him an injection of deposteroids as trimsulin acetate in the posterior septinon space just to take care of the inflammation in the posterior segment. The plan is to monitor his pressures uh, for the next few weeks very closely and get a OCT macula done regularly. There's a lot of uh, the cells which are sticking out of the posterior capsule as I'm closing the eye and at this point I'm wondering whether it will it affect the vision. That's my concern. These are the post-op pictures in the first day in the next few days. And luckily the patient had a significant visual improvement. He had 6-6 six, six parts and the pressure was under control. Of course he was also using topical anti medications to keep the pressures under check. He continues to do well. The OCT macula does not show any cystoid macular edema as of now. That was it. Thank you for watching and hope you found this helpful.